Hello students, welcome to Eternal Easy Education. This session is the introduction for 11th Standard Computer Science. You are going to learn the content what is in your book. Just an introduction. As you are new to this subject, up to 10th Standard you have learned only the 5 subjects. Tamil, English, Math, Science and Social Science. So from 11th standard onwards, you are going to learn computer science. So I like to introduce what are the concepts you are going to learn in this book throughout this year. This is the index page given in your book. Totally 5 units. Unit 1. Fundamentals of computer and working with a typical operating system, Windows and Linux. Unit 2, Algorithmic Problem Solving. Unit 3, Introduction to C++. Unit 4, Object Oriented Programming with C++. Unit 5, Computer Ethics and Cyber Security. So totally you are going to learn 298 pages in the two in this page there is a practical uh, list in the book itself you are having the practical programs we'll discuss about the practical programs later now we see what is in your book so totally how many units you are, you are going to learn five so first unit in the first unit you are having five chapters first chapter introduction to computers this is a very easy chapter and a known concept in it when we turn the book you will say miss i know this i know this device i'm having this device at home like that you will have you feel a known place in this chapter chapter two number system it's a uh, this chapter is some somewhat related with max but not your 10 standard max don't think that this max i don't like don't have a suggestion like that number system is a very easy chapter as well as a scoring chapter if you learn this chapter surely you are going to get five marks uh, you will get five mark question in the examination so your five mark question is in your hand is just the addition subtraction so it will be a very um, interesting chapter for you computer organization the first chapter and the third chapter have a link then theoretical concept of OS here you are going to learn theoretically what is the operating system and working with Windows operating system many of the students will be known about this but those who are not having computer at home, they may think that it will be interesting. Apart from that, those who are using computer at home, they feel, I know this. But it's a scoring paper for you because as you know the concept previously. So, the first unit is very easy to learn. The new concept you are going to learn here is only the chapter 2, 3, 4. One is a thing what you have learnt in from your childhood. Fifth chapter is a practical, that means many practical things are given in that uh, fifth chapter. So it will be very interesting and easy to learn. New concept, purely new thing is chapter 2, 3 and 4. Then in second unit, specification and abstraction, composition and decomposition, iteration and recursion. This is purely programming oriented concept. This three chapter is the base for your 12th standard first chapter. So if you are not learning this, these three chapters, then when you enter to the 12th standard, you feel very hard to learn the first chapter itself. These three chapters are easy chapters. See the page number 76 to 102. So it will be nearly 25 pages or 30 pages. So it will be very easy to learn and it is a new concept 
for your level then from 9th chapter to 16th chapter is a c++ programming all the lessons are interlinked if you miss any one of the chapter you will not you will you will feel very hard to continue the next chapter so each chapter is very important and you must learn this thoroughly because this is the base for your 12th standard so from in the 12th standard book from 5th chapter onwards it's a programming so without this programming knowledge you feel very hard to learn the 12th standard but the, the sweetest thing is in 12th standard the chapters are less and the content also easy when compared with 11th standard programming but 11th standard programming also easy if you concentrate if you have any idea that miss i don't have uh, don't like to learn programming miss i heard that it is very tough my sister told my brother told if you gathered any uh, any gossips like this don't believe in it you can learn the c++ very easily but you should concentrate without concentration and involvement you cannot learn these chapters so i hope you can learn these chapters very easily so introduction to c++ flow of control functions arrays and structures are in chapter 3 13th chapter introduction to object oriented programming 14th chapter classes and objects polymorphism inheritance all together in fourth unit but from 9th to 16 all together is c++ programming uh, the last year scenario is they got more questions from this chapters from 9 to 16 that means they concentrated more on this programming concept but we are not sure about it because we are not having blueprint for 11th standard but even though the programming is based they are asking more on programming side so we can learn this easily i'll give a hope for you i will teach you very easily to learn this programming next one uh, the last chapter is computer ethics and cyber security tamil computing the two chapters are very easy to learn so you have to concentrate only on the third unit and fourth unit fifth unit you can easily learn no problem in it it's only a theory thing and also very simple lesson this is so third uh, second unit three chapters very important for 12th standard as well as this so you need two three four very much important and we have to concentrate and work or else you will feel very hard to learn c++ or you feel that computer science subject is very hard but if you have a involvement you can learn very easily but surely i can say that when compared with your physics and chemistry even maths this computer science is very easy syllabus but even though i need your cooperation and involvement to learn this okay children i hope you got an idea about the thing what you are going to learn so just browse about computers input output devices and have an idea before entering into this first chapter